wherever you see these signs and international bank cards linked to these brands should be able to work. But what international travelers have been encountering here are cash machines and ATMs that are either switched off or that won't dispense any money. That's disrupted holiday plans and his tourism players hard. The typical example was an overland truck which had about 14 clients and they had to cut short their stay because they went all over town tried to withdraw cash with their international master cards and they couldn't. They were supposed to stay for four days instead they stayed with us one night. They said we are heading towards Zambia to be able to withdraw cash. There's no quick fix in sight so further losses are anticipated. The impact is very devastating. If we look at the arrivals themselves, when people start hearing that uh, there's no cash in Zimbabwe, ATMs, people are struggling to get cash from the ATMs, that word spreads so fast. And, it, and, and, and in tourism, it, when it spreads to our markets, it has, an, it has got a, an, an effect where it then reduces the confidence of the destination. The brand of Zimbabwe as a destination is now not selling as much as, as it was before this uh, cash crisis that we are talking about. Winning back that business could take months, denting the sector's growth projections for 2016. To stay afloat, some operators here have had to get creative. This budget lodge has worked out a scheme where guests can pay for accommodation online and include an extra amount for any cash they might need. When they pay us online, we can also give them cash back. But withdrawal limits at banks are being slashed regularly, so that means the source of cash to help out his guests could soon run out. He's pinning his hopes on a positive response to an SOS the industry has sent out to monetary authorities. To really ensure that there are selected points where the tourists can get money. And if it means that tourists who want to get money, they will have to get it through us, ZTA, and we get the money from the Reserve Bank, let it be. And then we can have our offices with um, some kind of uh, arrangement with the Reserve Bank. The Zimbabwe Tourism Authority says it's already managed to lobby for more cash to be distributed to banks in Victoria Falls, the country's biggest tourist centre. Farai Mwakutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.